Hello everyone who is watching this video. Welcome back to Jung Media. Um, very happy to have you, to have you here in this video. And today we're gonna cover another topic of um, Test Cafe, which is uh, a hot one, I guess. <laughs> it is a new feature that um, Test Cafe has in beta uh, feature right now in beta uh, state. And we're gonna cover the basic, uh, the basics of uh, this new topic and feature. All right, uh, this topic is uh, multiple browser windows, um, and let's see what it offers for us. All right, um, the Desk Cafe API includes methods that open, close, and switch between browser windows. Basically. Um, before this update, there wasn't a, a feature or Test Cafe wasn't capable to uh, handle different um, tabs in a browser. So this feature is gonna come uh, to emulate better the um, how an, an end user uh, can act. And actually we can cover different scenarios. For example, um, when you click on a button, which has um, a blank attribute. So we're gonna uh, replicate that scenario exactly the same as an end user. So it is an interesting feature and let's see what it offers to us uh, more than more than this. Um, it says that you can test websites with pop-up windows and OAuth login forms, debug complex multi-window application or run multiple instances of the same web up side by side i guess that this is so true and it is very good indeed um there is an important note right now that this is a beta feature um it says that browser support is limited limited to local instances of chrome and firefox you cannot resize child windows you cannot take screenshots or videos of child windows neither and um, the available, fun available functionality is subject to further uh, revisions. Please do not use this feature in production environments. So basically, this is something that is uh, for us to test and uh, it is gonna be uh, re reviewed in the future and probably we will have this to use in production sites in the near future, all right? Let's see what it does in, in code. I have a project here. It actually, it is the same that the, um, the project that I had in the last video, which was about visual testing with Test Cafe. Um, you can find that video uh, in the pop-up that you are gonna see right now. And um, I'm gonna use the same project as I'm telling you. Uh, I have this repository uh, free for use and free for download and, and replicate. And clone actually let me show you this is in bitbucket and you will see that inside test you we have the same folder structure than that, that uh, than my local project actually and you we will have the same uh, test cases here so actually the, the same js files to be uh, exactly so you will find this uh, project repository in the description if you want to download it or clone it. And let's continue. Let's see what it offers to us. Today we're going to work with this um, website uh, for testing, which is um, phptravels.net. Right? I have an idea of how we can test this feature and it is basically um, using this button over here, which is which is gonna redirect to YouTube, all right? It is gonna come here and it is gonna open a different uh, tab, as you might see uh, this, as you might see here. If you click on this, it is gonna open a new um, tab in Windows, uh, in actually in Chrome browser, right? So I'm gonna try to do this with Test Cafe. And um, inside the fixture, new window feature, um, we're gonna visit this website um php travels .net, and we're gonna have two different uh, variables actually let variables the first one is youtube selector and the second one is an url uh, variable um it is gonna act as an auxiliary variable and it is gonna uh, save um, the current url uh, of the of the website and you as you might see in the future here in this script, we're gonna compare the URL that we expect 
with the URL that we have in the web browser, all right? So, and the, this, the first test is new window open automatically after a click, all right? It is gonna come and open PHP Travels. It is, um, we have here the selector div that footer socials A element. So this is a CSS selector. I'm gonna show you how this look in the inspection in the spec um, part of Google Chrome. I'm gonna uh, look for it. And as you may see here, we have different um, A elements and we have actually six of them. And I just want to click the third one of the list. So uh, here with the method NTH, I am telling uh, Test Cafe to point to the third one, actually, yes, um, element of the list. You can see more uh, content and more explanation about this kind of methods in this selector video that I made before. So if you if you want to uh, see it, uh, just click on the on the pop up that you will see in the video too. All right, let's continue with the test. Basically, um, it is gonna open up uh, phptravels.net. All right, with this uh, function here, uh, t dot uh, eval. It is gonna get the document URI. Basically, it is gonna return the um, URL that we have in the web browser. And the main idea of this is to get this and save it in an auxiliary variable to see if um, we have the same response and we're in the in the right window in this particular case. So uh, once this is done, we have the the um, the assertion done. We're gonna come here, we're gonna uh, wait for five seconds until the website is completely loaded. And after that, I'm gonna click on the YouTube selector, which is this one over here, YouTube selector. Mm -hmm. And after that, I just want to get the new URL and it is gonna be assigned to the URL uh, variable that I made before. And we're gonna compare if it is pointing out, out to the YouTube uh, site with the PHP travel is travels user at the end of the URL, right? So uh, this is a simple uh, flow, but this is just to see how it works and if it is actually working uh, after we click a button that manages different uh, web, uh, actually browser tabs, right? So let's see how it works. I'm gonna run this. I just want to let you know that I let a new script at the package.json uh, file, which is test that um, double dots mul multiple window. If we run this script, you will see the result that we have accomplished. Let me show you. So basically it is gonna uh, run the, the script. It is gonna open phptravels.com. After it, it is gonna wait for five seconds until every, everything is uh, done and loaded actually. And it clicks in the YouTube icon uh, at the bottom of the page and it is loading YouTube as we expected. As you can see here in the in the console log, I have led uh, two um, different logs to see if it is actually getting the results. And as you can see, the main URL is phptravels.net. And the second one is the, the expected one, which was youtube.com slash phptravels. So it, it is good. It's, I guess that it, the feature is working fine right now. And let's see if uh, we can cover more of this new feature. In the second test, let me show you what we're going to do. Basically, um, at, the, at the beginning of the test, it is going to open PHP travels again. We're gonna uh, console log that um, instruction Im immediately and we're gonna validate if it is loading as expected. Once this is done, um, we're gonna declare a new variable uh, named initial window and we're gonna get the current window. It is gonna be a kind of um, pointer to let Test Cafe know that this is the name of this um, tab. All right, the, uh, the name of this window. After that, we're gonna open up a new window. It is gonna open uh, youtube.com, all right? 
it is gonna validate that it is opening YouTube that kind of suspected and after that we're gonna get the window to <laughs> actually the, the the context of the new window and we're gonna point also to um, and save that reference in the window to constant variable all right so when we now uh, can control them just naming this variable for future uses all right and the third one it, it is gonna open a new window however uh, i'm gonna do it um very quickly just uh, declaring the new constant variable window three and after that it is um getting the context immediately of the same of the open of the new window actually so we now know we now know that we have three different windows and every each of them uh, are saved in different variables so we can manage them in the future if we need it all right so let's see um once this is done uh, we have validated that um we're in the correct window since it is constantly validating that the url is the correct so the, the next step here is um or the next feature inside this feature is to switch between windows all right what we can we can do here is um switch between windows to see something else from from some for to see if if, if we need something from them so as you can see here i use this function uh, await t that switch to window and um, i'm gonna point out the initial window which was um, the the window the window that loaded the phptravels.net uh, site and we're gonna see if it is actually pointing and the window has been switched and we're gonna see if the url is the correct one all right so um once we have uh, created or opened different windows we have switched uh, to different windows actually too we're gonna close them to see if they are uh, if this new uh, function is working as expected which is t that close window so um as you can see here and i am sending the parameter window 3 to close the window 3 window <laughs> and then um I am closing the window through uh, window two, actually. So that's basically the the second test scenario that we have here. I just want to see how we can switch, how we can create uh, new windows, and how we can manage to get the the essential information that we need from them. All right. So let's see how this works. I'm gonna open up and run the script and see and let's see how it works uh, it says that it says that there are two tests skipped and it is basically because i haven't saved the file all right <laughs> i am i should now uh, be able to run the test let me see <coughs> All right, let's see. It is opening uh, the YouTube window. It is now opening the GitHub uh, window and it is happening so fast. And that's why I let uh, console log to see the tracking of this. And as you might see here in this um, console log, let me just open up this. Uh, it is okay. It is actually opening the first URL in the first window. After that, it is um, opening the second one and we're, we can uh, get the URL of the second window. After that, I just um, open a unique window uh, with the website github.com and it has the correct URL. And if we want to, <clears throat> um, we can switch between tabs and get the information that we need uh, for that specific tab. And this particular case was um, initial window, uh, and that's why this is the URL that it displayed. <clears throat> Once we have done this validation, I just open up the, I actually close the window three and window two, 
and everything is working as expected. So I guess that this is a very complete um, feature right now. There might be scenarios that are not um, are not working fine. That's why it is in beta. However, I guess that it is very complete, and this is uh, going for the in the good path. So we hope that we can get this soon. Uh, already tested with the last revisions and and updates. And I guess that that's the, this video. Uh, I, I guess that this is a very interesting video. This is a very interesting interesting topic right now about Test Cafe. So please let me know your thoughts in, in the comments below. Please um, let a like if you like the video and subscribe for future videos about Test Cafe, Sodium, and all the automation world <laughs> and software quality assurance. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I hope we can see. Uh, we can see more videos soon and uh, goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye bye.